Hey guys, I am back. Put some lotion on my hands. Thank y'all for coming back. Okay, I sit down and I ate. And I was thinking, what else can I do to this wreath? Because I really don't like the way it's looking now. So I didn't spray any starch on it and I didn't blow dry it. I am putting ruffles in between. Some fabric ruffles. So that's filling it out a little bit and making it look a little bit better. And then I'm going to, with this part two, I'm going to put these flowers. I am going to make a bow and I'm going to incorporate this little teddy. So let's get started. I have to fight with this one every time. a little better. There. All right. Hope everybody can see me pretty well. All right. I was putting ruffles in here. So let's go ahead and continue these ruffles. I was doing them, but I said, let me go online so you guys can see a little bit what I'm doing. doing these ruffles the same way that I do when I'm doing mesh. These I am folding them in about four times. Butterfly ruffles. And I'm going to put them in as I go along. And I'm trying to make sure they are even. And just drop them in there. I'm putting them all in that outer ring. I say it's getting late. Let me get started. didn't put any starch on it because I wanted to do something else and needed something else. So that's fine. 
And like I told you earlier, sometimes these Chanel stem can get a little too short when you're adding a lot of stuff in them. So I'm going to go ahead and add another Chanel stem right here. So that's probably the beginning point or the ending point. And I have to constantly use my scissors. I got a lot of it off, but they still had a lot left. So. gonna drop one right here. I'm gonna cut it off and bend it underneath because I don't have enough. What's wrong with these things? It's making it a lot fuller.
before you start tying it, make sure it's even.
think I need to put another Chanel stem. That one is pretty short. That first one I made, I made it too big. And this is it right here. I'm going to take it out and uh, cut it. Yeah, I'm good.
now I'm going to drop it back in here. It's about the size of all the rest of them. This is the first one I did. I cut it a little bigger than the others. It's getting hot. a little fuller. Now I'm going to put it on side. Let's go ahead and make a bow for it. mess with this white first, the one I hate messing with. Let's mess with it first. We're going to make some tails for it. Let's make some 16 inch tails. Be 8 inches on each side. It's going to be pretty short. It don't need to be too big because, uh, yeah, eight inches on each side. Because the wreath is not going to be a galoshes wreath. I wanted to make this one first because this do not lay down. It's white, do not lay down really well. Should have got the small one on it. We just have to deal with it. But um let's go ahead. Well let's just wait. Well let's go ahead and do this. I was gonna do the I was gonna do the pattern, the one with the pattern on first, but we can wait. I had forgot that one um had a pattern on it. I want my patterns to go in one direction. We got three sets of four sets. Where's my red? Okay. One, two, three, four. So let's go. Let's go six inch. Yeah, I see it's trying to come out of there, right? So you see why I want to get this one first so everything can lay on top of this white. Like I said, plain white is hard to find. I didn't have no other choice, but I wanted to put white in there.
let's go ahead and cut our strips around the pattern. Okay, we're gonna put this one. I think I'm gonna put this one on. I think I'm gonna put this one on the top where the little love can show. So, but let's just cut it first. I'm gonna cut it this one in because we're gonna put the pink and we're gonna put the red. So we're gonna go five inch, four inch, three inch. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go second for this one in the little top loop. Short top loop. I'll put that on top. So let's go 22 inches since we're making them a five inch. We're gonna go two 22 inch because we're gonna make two loops only. So we're gonna need we're gonna need a 22 inch. We're gonna need a 22 inch. That's all we're gonna put on it. 22 inch, because this is 6 inch. So we're gonna need 5 inches. So this is a 10. So it's gonna be 5 inch on each side. Got to make sure that our stuff is in. Bring this one over a little bit. Make sure I catch it all in there because that's where you can have issues at. Bring it over. you want to catch it dead in the center. Tails for that one. I'm doing things all different tonight. <laughs> I see, I didn't make no tail for that one. So let me go ahead and um, see, I need a, that's eight inch on know. so I'm gonna make it 16 inch. So this ribbon can have tails also because I'm not cutting 22 inch, 24 inch, 22 inch, 24 inch, but I just want a tail. I got a plan.
there's no right way and there's no wrong way to make a, a bow. Just know that. No right way and no wrong way. And this is my way. Everything straight? Okay, everything straight. So I got my tails for that one. Now, let's make a uh, red or pink. Which one? Let's make one out of this pink. tails for all of them. Since this is no pattern, this is no pattern, I can just not cut it until I finish. six, almost five, so let's go for, it can be a little bit over because you just want it shorter than this loop. Now we're gonna go red. Now we wanna be a little bit shorter than the pink. Now we're gonna go with our uh, little one loop up at the top. We're gonna do eight inches of that. We're gonna make 
make sure we have our truck on the right side. Just trying to find that middle. All right, I'm gonna give me a zip, a zip tie. I'm gonna lift it up. Put my thumb so I can catch it. Cut it all. Gently move your finger out of the way. Turn that around in the back and yank it as tight as you can. It ain't going nowhere. Remember having a pattern you know exactly what goes in the front. Let's trim this a little bit. And let's do our ducktails. Some people call them chevron tails. I call them duck tails. Sometimes I have my tails going up like this, but all of these tails are going to go down. Let's bring our wreath back over. We're going to put it right there. 
can trim this a little more because I don't want it sticking out. That commercial zip tie got it. It ain't going nowhere. Two of these together. Even though it's not that thick, but we gonna secure it to make sure that it stays there. Twist your ribbon, not your. You want to twist your bow, not your uh, Chanel stem. So, Sometimes I hold it up, see what size uh, can use it most. But it looks pretty even everywhere, so we're going to go and stick it right here. Try to put it in that center ring. Still gotta clean it up a little bit with the strings. Now that we have our bowl on there, and don't worry about these Chanel stems you see sticking up. They will be cut, but not right now. I always look over my wreaths when I get ready to ship them out. So I freshen them up before anything needs to be done. I do it, but I do need to tuck them in at the meantime because I got to get a picture. But I always go back through all of my reeves and see what, what perfectionists they need done. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck that the best way I can. go ahead and put our little Teddy. Teddy is the one that made me make this wreath. And uh, the, the fabric, the fabric even got some of the Teddy's colors in there. 
And I paid three forty eight for this at Walmart. And if any of you watched my earlier videos, I bought a little red one from there too. And just got this little um and I'ma put him a her. It look like a her with a little bow. I'm gonna put her on this side. I'm gonna stick her right there. I'm gonna put two more Chanel stamps together so I have enough space to put her without squeezing her up. Put it right under her neck. And you notice I'm using Chanel stem closer to the color. Stick her right there. And I'm also going to put her in the middle of that um, ring. I need to go on the outer right here. Oh, it wasn't in the middle. That's why it was off. She goes sitting right up in there. And the last one I did, I think I put some on the leg part too to make it real stationary. Really, really stationary. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do to this one. Let's see, can we work with one? So y'all see why I didn't uh, put starch on it now, huh? Until I finish. And I may not need as much starch now since I added the, the ruffles. So... I think that'll work. Maybe I need to put a... She really stationary now. She ain't going nowhere. Now, let's see, can we get it up under her little butt?
Now she is on there. Hey, thank y'all so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and follow, like, and share if you like my content. TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Go ahead and subscribe to my website and YouTube. Everything is BK3 Reefing Things. Every single platform is the same. B as in victory. K as in keep. The number three. Reef and things. That's me. That is me. So I told you uh, I'm going to be going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around five, between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Facebook. We go. All right, I'll be picking at this all night. It's, I always have a time to clean up. But I just see these long things sticking out. So this is my fabric reef, y'all. My fabric. I know I did something with fabric before, but I can't think of what I did. It might have been a reef. But um, I just can't place it right now. A lot of process to get it looking pretty decent. Using fabric, but my suggestion is get some thicker fabric to work with. It got to be really thick. Now, see, this white is thicker than this uh, plaid. I'm just going to stick my Chanel stems underneath for right now. So no matter where it is, I go through my reach and I cut it. Instead of tucking my Chanel stems, I cut them off and tuck the little piece that's left off underneath. I don't know why I'm doing all this because I got flowers to put on here. So let's see what we're going to put these flowers in. And you want to leave the stems kind of long and since it's going inside of a wreath. I think I'm going to put them like in between some of these or maybe four or so under here. But we're going to wrap them around our wire frame. 
and we're gonna cut the remainder off that we don't need because we don't need a lot of excess stem hanging. So let me try to wrap this around. Okay, we're gonna have to wrap that flower around itself. Just fill this little fabric up with a little bit of everything and make your wreath pop. Just fill that thing up. Okay, so it's a flower. You know, stick one right here, right by the teddy. And I told you I got these flowers from Walmart. It was three something. I think it was three ninety eight. Instead of wrapping the flower around the frame, I'm gonna wrap it around the flower itself. That's why I'm glad I leave, I'm leaving them long so they can support itself. And that way your flower can stick up where you can see it by leaving the stem on. flower come off you can always stick it back on there when you go out in the store to uh, buy flowers get one and look at it and see how many flowers supposed to be on there because sometimes employ employers will uh, you know it, it comes off easy and the employees they may not even put that little flower back on there so I make sure every last one of my stems have blooms on because they do fall off quick. And so just stick it and put it back on there. When I get flowers from Hobby Lobby and I have my little basket, they come off. I keep them in my basket and whenever I go to the register, I just put it in my bag and put it on my bloom on there when I get home. Because they come off and you don't want your flowers to look empty with a bloom missing. So if it fall off, just put it in your basket when she rang you up. Just put every all that little single flower right in your bag with you. They be knowing how they come off. They ain't going to say nothing. So I, I may not need number two. Sometimes less is better. So I may not just put number two blooms on there. That's what I'm thinking right now. But when I get ready to ship this, I may see a different picture and want to put one or two more on there. But right now, that's all I'm going to put on there. So this is my little fabric wreath. But I advise you, if you want to try to make one, get you some thicker material. You won't have to spray no spray starch on it. Y'all see, while I was on break, I went upstairs and got my blow dryer. I was ready to starch it down and blow dry it. But it's working out better with these ruffles on there. And the um, teddy bear and the... Um, 
phone. So those little things kind of bring it out a little bit. I was sitting down there eating, thinking about what I'm gonna put on there, what I'm gonna do to make it look so plain and, and whatever. So I came up with um, these ruffles. And make sure make it look lots better. And one thing about these strings that I'm cutting off, that's it. They ain't gonna come, you know, they not gonna ravel up like the you see the mesh doing. Once I cut them, that's it. They not gonna run and until they can't run no more. So I'm just trying to stick these Chanel stems underneath and try to get a picture. So that's why I use my uh, wood burning tool for my mesh. When they have mesh that wants to raveler or Just run like a pair of pantyhose. I burn it. So this is it y'all. Let me get this little thing I just seen when I lift it up. It's not too late to order your Valentine Reeves. BK3 reaping things. Order one for your sweetheart. Show some love with a wreath. Show some love. You know, women's probably tired of getting flowers. And they can have this read for a minute. And then he buy you this read for years to come. Then he can go and buy you some um, jewelry or uh, flowers. But you still got the read to put on your dough. My husband had me do like a, a what it was, a scavenger hunt one time for Valentine. You write something, go this place, go that place. And it was so much fun. And then like at the end, I had about $500. But it was so fun doing that little scavenger hunt thing. trying to get as much of these things as I see and it will be less I have to do when I'm getting ready to put it up because I don't feel good bagging it up knowing but I can always finish this tomorrow because I want to get every little piece of something I see sticking out every little piece but I'm going to finish this tomorrow I just want to come on and, and do part two with you guys. And uh, I think it looks so much better. Mm. 
I'm going to put you up here where you can see me. Everybody can see me pretty good. So this is my, make sure it's right. This is my little fabric wreath. Two-tone fabric with the little teddy on the side. Nice pretty bow. And this will be on my website, if not tomorrow, I mean if not tonight, tomorrow for sure. It's pretty late over here, it's almost 11 o'clock. I didn't intend to be out here that long, I mean in here, I'm in my kitchen. It's too cold out there. Even if you put the heater on, it still be cold out there because it's so windy. We be getting a lot of wind here in Georgia. I'll call it the windy city instead of Chicago. Last couple of times I went to Chicago, it wasn't even all that windy. I stayed there. I stayed in Illinois for three years with the military. Yep, y'all, so this is it. This is my little sweetheart. My little sweetheart uh, wreath. If you want to know the price, I have to figure out what I paid for everything. I have to um, do that. So, thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Y'all just don't know. I appreciate it to the highest. Y'all go ahead and follow, like, and share. We'll subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my website because you will be one of the first to know about a discount or pull my pants up, y'all. <laughs> a discount or a giveaway. So go ahead and do that, and y'all come back and see me. I told you I will be going live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right between 5.30 and 6 o'clock, unless something change. Okay, and please comment. I like comments. Thank you guys for joining me tonight on Beagle. I always have a little good crowd over there. Now I gotta clean up this mess. That's the only thing. Being in my kitchen, I gotta clean the mess up. When I'm in the garage, I leave it out there until the next day. You know, we always just throw stuff on the floor. But that's what rooms are for, right? And it's not that much to clean up anyway. Once you just organize all of your stuff, then you just sweep up all the the trash. Just put everything on the floor and just sweep it all up. I don't, know, I don't think I used no black ones tonight, so that must have been from the other day. Thank you so much for joining Peter Echo 8827 Abir, somebody in China or somewhere. I don't understand that. 8138 8444 
D Genus, thank you. 8920, thank you. Okay, invite fans to watch your live. I did already. Okay, maybe if I click on that. Okay, all right. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, Bigo. Archie, yum yum, thank y'all. Daydream, thank you. 6807, thank you. Max Shell, thank you. Mindo, thank you. ID, Money Bay, Escorted, D Lover Man, thank you. Mystic, Mommy, thank you. G King, NRG Baby. Big Nana, Donnelly, Orlando, 8641, Lisa, Big Anna, Big Anna, Big Anna's a newcomer on Beagle Live, welcome, Chocolate Drop, 6773, Trill Gang, ID, 3663, Miss Peachy, Howard, G-H-Y, Orlando, 1672, Lee Beauty, Bo Hardeman, Big Laura, Big Laura AA, Don, thank you for following me, Don, let's follow each other for sure, message me so I would know where to go and follow you, OG Ray, Teen Small, Sugar Bear, Lisa, Escorted, you let you you right, Helen. We're gonna follow each other. Send me a message so I know where you are, and I'll follow back. I'll, I'll definitely follow back immediately. Ronald Hell, thank you. I lost a few. If I don't call all of your names, but if I see you follow me, I'm definitely gonna follow you back. Yeah, definitely. Follow for follow. That's the way I look at it. Follow for follow. Okay, I see a lot of more names on here, but I Brown Sugar, uh, King Mean, Nick, Orachi. So thank y'all. Thank you so much. If I didn't call your name, I appreciate you just as much. Okay. It's a lot of y'all. Thank y'all. I really enjoy it. Thank you so much. Like I told y'all, I'll be going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 5.30 and 6 o'clock. I give you a definite time. I'm trying to see how this week going to go. So that's the way I would know exactly what time I'm going to be going. I, I round it up until Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But, um... I'll let you know if anything change. But that's my plan for right now. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And if there's anything you want to see me make, just uh, let me know. Let me know if it's something that you want to see me make. I got a, a floral arrangement to make with you guys. I got some candlestick. I want to put cr crushed glass on it with you. And um, I got to, um, I finished. Well, I just bring it up here right now. I just have to learn this app. But I'm on about three different apps. And um, let me see, it's a way because I didn't did it before. Yeah. Well, anyway, I got some candle holders to finish uh, with you guys, and I have uh, what else I have? I in a flower arrangement, a floral arrangement. I got to finish with you guys, and this wagon I did the other night. This letter. I uh, painted it with some pink um, acrylic paint. 
Then I put a Mod Podge on it and glittered it. After I glittered it, I put some more super gloss Mod Podge on it. So that's what gave it that shine. And I put this on it to protect the glitter from coming off. Because it was the glitter was coming off. So that's why I put the Mod Podge on it. You might can see a couple of specks that was probably just laying on top. But it's not going nowhere. And so, because that's going to be my theme color for my downstairs. It's going to be pink, turquoise, gold, and some white here and there. So that's why this came in red and I painted it pink. Painted the little bottom slaves with gold glitter and with my Podge help. You can see all that little glitter coming off and stuff. It's because it probably was laying directly on top. It's real. It's not coming off like it was. And I may have to put another color. I may have to put some varnish on it. Let me see. Let's spray some varnish on it. Move my flowers out of the way, move my drink. But I don't want it to get on my arm. Um, that's why I brought this plastic out here to protect my stuff. Let's lay it on that plastic. I'm going to bring it back down here where y'all can see. I'm just going to spray it with some little varnish. And this super gloss Mod Podge is much thinner than this one. This is white. And this is more like on a clear side. I know this. It's, near, it's not near as thick as uh, this one. I like painting with this one better. The super gloss. So we're just going to spray a little bunch on the wheels where I put the, um, the Mod Podge and the glitter. Just going to spray it directly on top. Now it helps seal it too. Now I don't want to look how shiny. It's oily. It's an oil light. Follow for follow, y'all. Follow for follower. I didn't want to put none on here, but it's, as long as it don't hurt it, because I've been messing with this thing long enough. It's time to put it, stash it now. It's time to put it up, to finish with it. So I'm going to leave it there so it can dry. And I also painted this one. I use a, a glitter, acrylic glitter on this one. Acrylic glitter. It's a little fireplace. I took the batteries out, but it do light up. It's like a real little fireplace. So I'm ready to put these up tomorrow. So I can work on my floral arrangement. And I'm, I'm proud of my little uh, fabric, my little fabric uh, wreath. Y'all uh, write in the comments and tell me how you like my little fabric, uh, my little fabric wreath. With the teddy. With the teddy and uh, the bow and the flowers. So 
So y'all, I'm going to get off of here. It's 11.03. I'm going to go clean this area up. And I will see you guys. What's tomorrow? Tuesday? Now, don't be surprised. Because sometimes I just be wanting to go live. Don't be surprised if I come live tomorrow. Because uh, I like working on stuff. You know. But I know I have to take time and do what I need to do around my house. So... I'll probably just skip a live tomorrow because once you get on live and making something, it'll be a, a when I did what I need to do. So you'll probably see me Wednesday. I would definitely be here Wednesday between uh, 5.30 and 6. 5.30 and 6, I work on something. I pull something out. I don't want to get that on my ribbons either. All right, y'all. Good night, because I'll be keep talking. Good night, y'all. i see y'all Wednesday, if not tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night, and thank you so much for joining me. And I want to welcome all the first-time watchers of VK3 Reaping. Thanks. Good night, y'all.